A young bald eagle that you may have seen hatch on one of U.S. Steel's bald eagle nest cams earlier this year was recently injured while trying to take flight. Jessica Gway spoke with wildlife rehabbers who have been helping the eagle recover. The three-month-old bald eagle sustained significant damage to his flight wings, but he was quickly captured after he was seen struggling on a live nest cam. The U.S. Steel Urban Plant Manager tells me if it wasn't for that camera, it would have been tragic. This young bald eagle has a long road to recovery. The U.S. Steel Bald Eagle Nest Cam at the Mon Valley Works Urban Plant captured the moment when the bird known as USS-4 tried to take flight but failed. It continued to struggle and hit branches. The eagle was eventually seen on the ground with extensive damage to his feathers. He just fledged a little earlier than anticipated <laughs> um, and got caught on the ground, um, which did eventually cause damage to the wings um, and uh, to the feathers on his tail as well. Um, unfortunately, because of the damage, he's not able to fly yet and properly fledge. On June 27th, U.S. Steel staff and the PA Game Commission captured the fledgling eagle. Then it was taken to Humane Animal Rescue of Pittsburgh's Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. Just a lot of broken feathers and really frayed. Wildlife rehabber Lauren Gibbons loves caring for all different types of wildlife here, but she'll never forget helping our national bird. We assessed all of his damage to the feathers and got him stabilized for the night. Um, it was a very cool experience. I, I really enjoy working with eagles. After caring for the eagle for a week, she coordinated transport to Tamarack Wildlife Center in Crawford County. The executive director there says that he's doing well and they're waiting for test results, but rehab may involve a year of treatment as he has multiple issues that need to be addressed prior to release. Rehabbers are doing their best so this magnificent bird can spread his wings and fly someday. So for his case, he's just going to have to be in care for a while, molt out all of those feathers and grow new strong ones, and then really practice building his flight muscles since he is a baby and he's never flown to get that strength up to be ready to go back into the wild. I'm told there are no guarantees the eagle will be released in the future, but if it is, the location will not be determined until treatment is completed. On Thursday, Tamarack Wildlife Center will be hosting a Facebook Live event that will feature all of the different organizations that assisted with this rescue, including HARP and U.S. Steel. In Verona, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.